and welcome it's Megan here today I'm going to be doing a day in the life with me it's mainly focused on me kind of rearranging my apartment so that's what I'm planning to do today so if you like this video definitely give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe so let's get into it okay guys it's time for coffee i'm going to be using this dark roast coffee that i get from aldi and it's one of my favorite cheap coffees it's awesome and then i'll also be using some french vanilla creamer that i got from aldi as well can't see it there it goes french vanilla creamer so coffee time okay guys so I finished my coffee and I've kind of just been relaxing chilling not really doing anything so now I really want to kind of rearrange like some of my furniture possibly um, you know give you guys a little more updates on my apartment and actually like hang up the rest of my pictures that sort of thing so that's what I'm about to do now so let's do it so first I want to talk about my new TV I guess it's not super new it's been mounted for a few weeks now but basically I mounted it on this wall and I'm really thinking of moving my desk under here because I really want to get a bigger desk than that one that has drawers so we're about to slide this into the hallway because I've seen it in the hallway and I actually liked it in the hallway Cause that's where it was before when I had um, like moving stuff around so I'm gonna move that over there and then possibly move the desk today and we'll just kind of see what it looks like so I just wanted to tell you guys what I'm doing so yeah that's what we're about to do now So now here's what it looks like. I totally have to clean up under there and that's like the wires, but here's like what this looks like down the hallway. To me, it's, you know, it's just a bookshelf, you know what I'm saying? But the biggest reason I liked it here is because at one point I had that sitting there and then I also had like my little red box and I was gonna decorate like the walls, so Oops, it's out of focus. So I'm actually gonna get that box out of my bedroom now and I'll just kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. Kind of what I had in mind for the hallway. So basically, this is like an extra box with like extra stuff that I have and like my hallway is super wide so now I can comfortably still walk through even other people can too because pe people have walked through when I've had stuff in the hallway because it's a super wide hallway so um, I'm really wanting to hang this up here so that way it's close to the red so you can have the pop of the couch sorry my apartment's a mess but yeah a pop of color and then over the bookshelf I was gonna have like different pictures and stuff too I haven't quite figured that out yet but I think I like this actually now I'm going to get some of my pictures and kind of line them up on this just so I can get a feel for what they look like that sort of thing Um, this is actually something new. I got it from Aldi the last time I was there, um, but all these other pictures I showed you guys in the last vlog when I was decorating because um, I got frames for everything. So some of these, 
some of these I want to go like in my bedroom and stuff and some of them you know maybe in the bathroom so I'm really not quite sure what I want to do with everything yet but I just put them out here just so I can like see them if that makes sense I'm gonna go ahead and move the desk under the TV just so I can get a feel for what that looks like to make sure that I like it um so yeah that's that's what I'm about to do now y'all more of a view you can't even hardly see it because it's so bright in here but I don't know okay so now it's a little darker so you can get a feel for more of what it looks like mm. so I'm not really sure about the desk because really I wanted like a bigger desk so it would um I just haven't gotten it yet um, cause I wanted to get like the Alex drawers from Ikea so I could have like more storage. And that's mainly why I wanted to have that under the TV. So I'm really thinking, I'm just going to leave it here for now. And then I'm going to try to rearrange everything kind of how I pictured in my head to see if maybe that makes it fit, if that makes sense. Okay. I closed one of the windows so we could see it a little better, but basically I have the desk right here and then the TV's up here and then over there where the bar stools are I kind of wanted to put like a little table so I can almost have like a mini dining kind of area the trunk that's sitting there doesn't necessarily have to be there because I really wanted like a larger desk that has drawers and also I wanted my desk to be taller because I want the chair to be able to go underneath the desk you see what I'm saying I feel like if the chair went all the way underneath the desk I would be cool with this but right now it's kind of frustrating me yeah so I don't know you guys I don't know it's so tiny in here hey guys so I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with like my living room but I'm about to just eat a cheese stick, a pepper jack cheese stick, and I'm gonna just kind of sit and kind of just think about it. You know, that's what I'm about to do. Okay guys, so I did some more rearranging because when I was sitting over here, I actually really like the bar stools over here. So I'm gonna sit over here so you guys can kind of see it. I like sitting here and like I can still see the TV and I can actually turn the TV and I was thinking of putting like a little table right here as kind of like a little dining kind of table for me that's the main reason I want to move the desk and now that there's like space to walk here like you can sit on the couch and the chair is not just all up in the way um, the, this is actually growing on me having the desk right here because I know that realistically once I get my new desk This backpack won't be under there and neither will this blue thing Because the whole point is that stuff is storing some of my desk stuff Which is why I want the desk with like the drawers on the sides um, Also, it'll extend a little further so you won't see much of this like black line and then the trunk honestly may end up going away once I get like the larger desk if that makes sense and also um, because there's a little space right here that means if I get the desk higher and I can push the chair underneath the desk I feel like I'll like it better all right guys so I'm boiling some water because I'm about to make just some rice and some black beans and then I also had some non leftover from when we went to Indian restaurant and then I'm about to just watch Coronal Minds. I just, you know, I need a break from trying to figure out my hot mess of apartment. So, yep, Netflix. Well, Criminal Minds. Okay. 
Okay guys, so here's my lunch I threw together. Here's the leftover naan, just some tzatziki dip that I got from Trader Joe's, and then some white rice and black beans. I just want something super quick and easy to eat, so that's what I'm about to eat for lunch. Okay, so now I just finished eating and watching an episode of Criminal Minds. So now I'm gonna just finish loading the dishwasher and clean up the kitchen, and then I'll get back to arranging furniture possibly. I don't know. Hey guys, so I changed clothes again but I kind of rearranged my furniture to make it look decent. So I'm just gonna show you guys an update of that. And then I'm about to go to my mom's and we're gonna order dinner. Oh so yeah, let's show the update of what it looks like. Okay, so I'm over in the corner, kind of in my kitchen area. So as you can see, here's what it looks like I put the bar stools over in the corner because that's where I want to have like the table and stuff. I kind of, since the chair was so just in the way, I kind of catty cornered it almost like it's just an extra seating area. And then I put the desk here because really when I get that bigger desk, it's going to extend to like here and then here. So yeah, and then here's the TV. It's, it's growing on me just a tiny bit more in here. Let me show it to you guys from this angle. So this is like from the angle in the hallway. So there's like the kitchen, my living room, there's the little corner, here's the desk. So yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. I kind of like it. I'll put, I'll get a cute table, decorate, get my bigger desk. Um, Here's what the hallway is looking like. So this, I'll hang these pictures up. Um, and yeah, this is what it is so far. So I'm done now. So I'm about to groom my plants. And so basically I'm just gonna kind of cut off some of the dead leaves and then water them really well in the sink so they get super washed. I try, I'm starting to try to add this um, just to make sure you're getting enough water. Um, and I read that you're supposed to actually clip the little brown leaves and stuff off. So I'm about to do that now. So here's my first plant. It's her name is Chanel. So here's Chanel. So we're gonna groom her first. I'm done with Chanel. I sat her back over there in the corner. Uh, she looks really good now. I think she just needed some of those dead leaves that were shedding removed from her pot. And honestly, I noticed, I read somewhere where when the um, roots and stuff are coming out the bottom of the pot, that means she needs to be repotted. So let me know if that's a thing because I think I may need to repot her. Um, but yeah, so now I'm gonna do, or no, this is Coco. Um, she reminds me of kind of like a beach palm plant. So yeah, she's Coco and she has like a few brown leaves. I read on there that over time as it grows, it layers, it gets rid of the bottom leaves. So that's why some of these are brown. Um, Cause at first I was like, dang, am I killing my plants? But apparently not. So yeah, I'm about to just do the same thing with those, cut off the brown leaves and then we'll be done. Hey guys, so now here is Coco over here by the window. 
I think she looks good, you know? And I'm just, you know, she looks good. And then here is Chanel over here. She looks good. They look better already. Yes. All right then. Okay guys, so I'm at mom's and we just ordered food through waiter from Nabil's Greek food. And we, I'll show you guys when it gets here, okay? Okay guys, so I just had some of this spinach Parmesan tzatziki with Greek yogurt dip from Aldi with some tortilla chips because I got hungry because I'm just hungry, you guys. OMG, this is so good, okay? So if you're at Aldi and you like like dips and stuff, you need to try it, okay? Great. And now because I looked in the um, fridge and I saw mommy had some Simply Lemonade, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta make a drink. So I made it with some Tito's and lemonade. This is my one of my favorite vodkas. And look, it's got the one with the little sweater. Mom says it's hers, but it's mine because I bought it. But whatever, because I bought the one with the sweater. But anyway, here's my drink. So that's what I'm having. All right, let's do a taste test. And sorry I don't have makeup on, you guys. Yes. It's delicious. So again, I'll check back in with you guys when the food is here this time, because I won't eat anything else, okay? <laughs> okay, so our food was finally delivered. So, ooh, here's a t some tabbouleh. What's in here? Euro plate. Awesome. What's in here? Falafel. Okay. What's down here we got? Napkins. Some more tabbouleh. Mom and I love tabbouleh, you guys. And then You got french fries? No. Okay, so that's all our food. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, everything else is right. Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna eat now. All right, you guys, that was the end of this video. I'm getting ready to go to sleep. It was kind of random, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.